Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Francesca and today I'm going to be showing you how I style my dirty hair. Okay, now my hair sometimes gets flat a lot. Normally if I had it in the middle parting, as you can see, apart from this bit here, whatever this is doing, the top is really, really flat. Now yes, I am dragging it down, but my point is you get it. So, like stuff for a quick photo, I literally go like that, run it through a little bit, puff it up and literally grab it and just scrunch it because if you do this, it just puffs it up a little bit. So for photos, you know, I just kind of deal with it if you like. I have no idea why, but I'm like a little bit frizzy down here at the minute. I'm like never frizzy, honestly. But since I've got it cut, my hair's actually been really different. Not 100% sure why. Okay, firstly I'm just going to get my tangle teaser and brush it. Now I always use tangle teasers the majority of the time. Pretty much because my hair gets super, super knotty. And I like to make sure that, oh, <laughs> that I'm not going to pull my hair out. When I brush it though you'll really see how greasy it is. Okay, now yes, I know most of you like that really hasn't helped because you're really just spreading the grease throughout the hair. But to do this, you do need to, you know, brush it all at first. And when I brush it, a lot of the frizziness kind of just goes, it just does this flat, disgusting thing. So anyway. So next would have to be dry shampoo because let's face it, we need to do something with this. Otherwise, styling it is just gonna be ugh. So dry shampoo it is. Now I've tried loads of different dry shampoos over quite a long period of time to be honest with you. But this one, it's just really, it's quite cheap to be honest with you. Some of them are so expensive out there, like the Way one, that's really expensive compared to these you literally just pick these up in like boots or any drugstore pretty much and bang you got a massive bottle of it sorted and depending on how much you use this tends to last you quite a long time so I'm just gonna shake it a little bit and spray now this will make my hair grey but I'm not too bothered in that at this point. now I do spray loads <laughs> Because I can't stand greasy hair. So put it all the way through. Now I just sit and kind of leave it to soak it up. Then when it kind of feels really like baby powderish, kind of like ugh, gross to feel, anyway, it looks a lot better. So I'll turn my hair upside down. I know you can't see me, but I'll work from the bottom, flip my hair the other way, and then work it back through sides as well. Kind of giving yourself a bit of a head massage, you know? Right, now we're a little bit more gray, a little bit more what is going on with this. <laughs> anyway, so I can just, and you normally tell like right at the front there that's a little bit greasy still. So I'll add more. Same thing goes, leave it a while, brush it through. Okay, now we're all through, we're all sorted, looking less greasy already. So next, what we're gonna do is it comes on to the styling part. So firstly, protect the hair. So this is the GHD Heat Protectant Spray. You guys have seen me use this in how I keep my hair healthy video. Make sure you to check it out if you haven't already. But what I'll do is I'll just spray it from root to tip of my hair on both sides. This stuff smells really good as well. Make sure it's all on there. I really don't like it when my hair starts like frying. <laughs> just leave it on there, soak in just a little bit because it looks quite damp at the minute. While you're doing this, just put on some straighteners or some curling tongs. 
So my straighteners are now plugged in and they're just heating up. But for a little bit of information, these um, heated plates inside the black things that I'm not going to touch them because they're heating up. However, um, in GHDs they are metal and it will singe your hair. Why a lot of videos go wrong doing this. However, these are actually ceramic so they will not burn your hair. Singe it and you can use it on wet hair as well. Trust me, I've done it before. It does not damage your hair and it does not singe it. It does it does create a little bit of like a burning smell I guess but a lot of like evaporation like there's a lot of like kind of steam because obviously it's like burning the water in your hair isn't it so you know it does that however it's actually a really good two in one if you need like drying and then straightening these are just two in one because it dries and straightens at the same time so you know it saves you a lot of time anyway i haven't told you what these brand are they are royal so i actually got these in america if you can see um i like the purple ones they come in all different colors as well okay so i don't actually curl all of my hair as you'll see but i just go like that and then push it where my parting is normally in the middle yeah, so what I'm going to do is I lift it the first section up like that. I'm actually going to grab a clip instead of a bubble to do that with. Okay, so just going to clip that in place like that. And then all the bits that are down, I'm just going to brush just the ends of them. Now, as you'll see, I do this really, really roughly. That's because... I like it to be a little bit of a mixture between straight and curly. Right. Now what I do is, a lot of people don't actually know how to curl the hair with straighteners, but yeah, I do it. So go straightening and then clamp it, twist it. Now if you do it longer, they're gonna be like tighter curls. Now I like them just a mixture, so I might hold it on a little bit, then loosen it off. And can you see? I should be able to see, but it's curly. <laughs> right, I'm gonna like just leave a bit, and then do this bit here. So again, straighten. And now curl it the other way, because if you curl them both ways, and then separate them at the end, like separate the curls, they actually make your hair, well, it gives you more volume in your hair. Okay, lighting may not be as good, but you get the point. Right, by the way, my straighteners aren't actually a hundred percent warmed up that's why i always do it at the bottom first because while it's warming up i'll just do the bottom bits because they're likely to get like squished and crushed anyway there we go now it's heating up just a little bit Now, to be honest, I don't curl my hair a lot because I'm not a massive fan of me with curly hair, but it does work when it comes to this. So I'm just going to give the top layer a brush down, and now you can see the curls underneath my normal hair. So this is when I just grab sections of it and only go back to front. No, I'm gonna half that because that's too much.
little tip when it, the hairs get closer to your face push it away from your face because it gives you more volume and make sure you don't look like overcrowded with the curls okay now we've finished curling our hair as you can tell i like this bit straight and this bit curled i don't like it around my face to be really curly anyway so now we are going to grab the curls and separate them like that it makes us look like we've got double the amount of curls and actually it makes us look like we put more effort in yeah. right there we go now i'm gonna show you what the next step is as you guys have guessed my hair is still quite flat so what i do is grab this bit flip it and then grab the bit underneath and I get my trusty back comb brush. No idea where this is from. It's got that on it. And the root, I just slowly back comb and then grab that bit. And back comb that bit. And now you can tell it's puffing up, yeah? Then grab the bit on the top the underneath of the bit at the top and then you can just see that little bit there so a tiny little bit and back home that little bit there now we're looking good <laughs> and then from the outside we just brush this bit as well and remember to do it all the way around your crown as well so i'm going to do that and be back okay so now we're looking like we've got more hair than we actually do brilliant now I like to just scrunch it at the roots and you can see that it's kind of puffy and big and all sorts of that I also pull a lot of the curls out because I don't like them tight at all in fact I'm not really that good with curly hair I mainly like straight but I do do this if it's greasy so yeah I just kind of play around with it until I'm happy with it and next I've got to set it into place so you guys see me unbox this, this is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. Now I'm not going to lie when I say this stuff literally freezes your hair in place because it does, it honestly will not move and when I literally say that I go Woo! all in with the dry shampoo but I do not go all in with that because like that's it, my hair stuff like that now. <laughs> brilliant okay so you guys can keep the curls in more if you want but i like kind of this like rough look and to be fair i'm not sure what this is doing but there's like curls underneath <laughs> but anyway so i think you guys can agree that my hair definitely doesn't look greasy anymore nevertheless thank you guys so much for watching this video i also this makeup look was done in a separate one so make sure you go check that out please make sure to like subscribe comment and follow me on all of my other social medias as well as turn on all your notifications. <laughs> Make sure every time I post, you get a notification to tell you I post. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little kind of hair sorting out. <laughs> yes, anyway, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.